What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London from Barcelona. Now this video needs a little bit of a story behind to explain what is going on, what has gone on and what is going to take place because it is very exciting. It is combining two of two of my favorite things, mobile phones and cars. Because yesterday I was invited to the Mobile World Congress to watch the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Now today, I'm about two hours away from catching a flight to Madrid because Audi have invited me to the R8 RWS launch where I get to drive and drift that car. Now combining Samsung and Audi, Samsung have amazingly allowed me to take their brand new S9 Plus, which I have right here, with an Alcantara case, which is very automotive, to Madrid. Now this phone isn't out until the 16th of March, so I feel very lucky to be able to get the opportunity of taking this, and over the next 10 minutes or so, however long this video is, I'm only going to be using this phone to vlog everything that happens as I take this phone to Madrid and drive the Audi R8 RWS. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna to use this camera and my GoPro to bring you guys an in-depth first impressions review of the car but I just want to bring you behind the scenes of what is going on. I'm going to be meeting up with Sideway Sid, Archie Hamilton and Audi Sport, of course. So I need to pack my bag, I need to pack my phone and then I'm going to get on a plane to Madrid and drive the brand new Audi R8 RWS. But film it all on the brand new S9 Plus. Guys, we have made it to Madrid and I can't believe Samsung have let me come this far with a phone that is not out, but we have made it. And this is the first time that I get to lay my eyes on the beast that is the Audi R8 RWS. I'm one of the first to arrive because I've flown in from Barcelona. The UK flight is around 15 minutes behind me. And behind me, check out this incredible view these look absolutely stunning we've got dark gray daytona gray maybe and we've got some spiders for this beautiful spanish sun so how today is going to work we've arrived at this military aerospace base just outside of madrid so security was pretty tight i've now got my credentials meaning i can free roam and take in the sights of these incredible cars now this vlog is going to be a little bit of a behind the scenes and show more in depth what goes on behind these media drives rather than just driving and providing a driving impressions review style video i am going to film that on my main camera and gopro because because this car is something I'm incredibly excited about. It is a car that I've wanted Audi to build for a long time. And you know that I'm into my drifting. This is the rear wheel drive Audi R8, the R8 RWS. There is gonna be some drift stuff action going on. We've got track time and we've got road time. So plenty of opportunities to get to grips with this car. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be uploading my first impressions of this car, but today, hopefully I can take you on a little bit of a journey. Maybe we can go drifting and show you guys how good the Samsung is, but also, how much fun days like these are. Hi mate. Good. Are you filming on that? Yep. Oh, cool. How are you? Yeah, good you. Yeah? You're looking tanned mate. I am. I'm actually drawn in to film that. We have just finished the press briefing, which was spoken in German, but we had our own headphones so that we could listen in an English translation. Got a little bit of a confession to make, which I'm going to say very quietly. So. These are some of the journalists that are going out now in the RWS. And as I was on my flight out here, I was going to kind of come to the conclusion, having driven these cars, I didn't think there was going to be spiders here for starters. When I turned up, I thought they were quattro. And I was going to say that it would have been nice to be able to experience a rear wheel drive spider. I didn't think that they existed. However, they are the rear wheel series spider. I've never seen a picture of them.
<laughs> sounds good. It does sound really I, good. I'm used to that sound, but it's very nice. <laughs> so are you though, with the Hurricane? Yeah. 5.2 litre V10. Literally one of the best engines still in production. Simple as that, right? Yeah. Oh, see if I can get a down. See if you get a bit right. of that. <laughs> you know what you hear it so much more in the spider obviously any exhaust noise is amplified by like 10 yeah so i have landed at the drift circuit place i've had a private shuttle here and most of the uk journalists now have gone home because archie had his flight brought forward because their flight got delayed however because i'm flying back to barcelona to meet up with the samsung guys they've opened this up for me the R8 RWS and this incredible space. Now, usually when manufacturers offer this opportunity to go for a bit of a spin, it's quite small, quite contained and very restricted with regards to letting the car open up and do some very cool things. So I thought that I should do this whilst I'm vlogging on my Samsung. However, I've turned up and never seen a facility like this. This kind of puts Pro Drift Academy a few notches down. This expanse of concrete is the ultimate playground to learn car control. Now I thought that this was going to be wetted tarmac but it is not. It is very much dry. The R8 is warm. It is ready to go. I have no idea how I'm going to capture this. What I'm going to do is go for a drive, have a few spins myself and then I'm going to jump out and then get some of the instructors to do some slides so you get to see just how good this car looks when it goes sideways. Let's get cracking with the best part of the day. Even though I've driven the car on the road and had an amazing time doing that, video will be dropping tomorrow because I do believe this is arguably one of the best cars in the world right now. Let's go drifting on the Samsung and see what happens. Now this is ridiculous. I am out by myself. I'm being shown the track and then I'm able to do whatever I want with the car. So I might get an instructor to sit in the passenger seat and film me as I drift, which is a much better scenario, or it might not be unless the instructor. And because this isn't a road, I can film all of this. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to take this car sideways. Good. Not every day you get to drive a new R8 rear-wheel drive supercar. <laughs> and get opposite log. <laughs> this is so cool. Just tuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> 60 kilometers an hour sideways. Completely legal. the way isn't it 
I've had an amazing few hours. It has been short, it has been sweet. In the next half an hour or so, I'm gonna be heading back to the Madrid airport and jumping on a very short flight back to Barcelona to spend one more day with the Samsung guys. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to explore this phone a little bit more because I got handed it to me last night at about 10, 10.30. I got a rundown. I said that I was fairly familiar with the S8 Plus because I obviously had that a couple of months ago. And to be fair, this phone is very intuitive, very similar to the Samsung S8 Plus and I'm really looking forward to putting all of this content that I've shot onto my laptop. I'm kind of filming as I go so I have no idea and can't really review the phone but I'm making this video so that you guys get to see just how good this camera is because it is one of the market leading cameras on any mobile phone. The one thing that I can say is I would much rather use this phone on a gimbal. If accessories were out for the S9 then I could be able to make some really fluid videos. I'm doing all of this handheld just holding the phone so hopefully the inbuilt stabilization on the camera is back matching up to my shaky hands. Here comes another R8. Looking beautiful. It's kind of eco mode. It's very quiet when it comes in on the low revs. But yeah, I think that's the only thing that I would change about today using this is I'd have it on a gimbal so that we could get some really fluid videos. But I've had a lot of fun using this phone. I've got a long way to go before I really find the depths of how good this camera is. But hopefully over the next few months or so, I can document how I'm getting on with it, how it compares to my iPhone and just have a laugh and see whether I can create some cool content whilst I'm out and about, create some vlogs whilst using my phone. So let's have one last look the Audi RWS before I go back to the airport. So you get to see the exhausts in there, which looking pretty sweet. That's ruining my audio, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it feels good to be back in the hotel and I just want to lie down and lay there. What a hectic day. Two flights from Barcelona into Madrid, film two videos <clears throat> and then back out. And I have to say, like I've said earlier, this phone is incredibly intuitive if you know Samsung products. If you don't know Samsung products, I had two weeks with the S8 Plus and got to grips with it very easily. But of course, I gave it back and got the iPhone X. But to play around with this phone, again, I still haven't looked at the footage. I'm yet to transfer them. And we're now back on my Handycam. So around 98% of the video was shot on this camera. And the one thing that I've noticed is video stabilization was on, extra stabilization. So I have no idea how much that's affected the frame rate and things like that. So again, I apologize if you were expecting a super techie review. This was more of a field test of me going to Madrid and driving the brand new Audi R8 RWS. And tomorrow you are gonna see my first drive as I drive the Audi R8 RWS Spider which I actually had no idea existed. So <laughs> it was a load of fun, absolutely incredible. I just wanted to spend more and more time out on that drift pan because what an amazing feeling and sensation to be going that sideways in an Audi R8 with all of the weight over the rear wheels. It got grip when you wanted it, but you could really get it out of shape as well. So Audi, you have done a fantastic job. Make sure that you tune into my video tomorrow because that is where you find out why I believe it is one of, if not the best car on the market at the moment. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, tuning in, and let me know if you wanna see more of me getting to grips with the Samsung S9 Plus and whether you wanna see it get put up against the iPhone X in later videos because I feel like that's a test that needs to be done. So I'll see you soon guys, take care, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, but right now I need sleep.